sound speeds. And since you clicked on this video, I'm assuming that you're in the same boat as I was until a few days ago and I figured out an easy trick inside of Windows 10 that allowed me to completely eliminate the popping and crinkling audio that I was experiencing inside of my brand new editing PC. Let's waste no time and get right into it. But first, it has to be said, yes, all the equipment that I'm using is fully functional. It works. I literally unplugged the USB cable out of the old computer and plugged it into the new one. But just to cover all of my bases, I did try four different USB cables. And yes, I did try every USB port on the new computer. All 13 of them. Same thing. I installed all the proper drivers and Windows is fully updated with no conflict. So I went online to see what fixes I could find and I found the same list over and over again. Update the drivers on your audio device? Nothing to see here. Check your minimum processor state. It's maxed out on a badass PC. Spatial sound is off. Turn off enhancements? What enhancements? Change your audio format to 16-bit 44.1K. You gotta be kidding me. In short, I tried everything that I found in every article and video online that made sense, including installing multiple third-party latency monitoring software, which revealed that I should have no issues. So what finally worked? Well, I started by identifying all of my audio and video peripheral devices. Easy, just a sound device's Mix Pre 6 handling my audio and a Feel World Live Pro L1 handling my video. Next, I opened up Device Manager and clicked the greater than symbol next to Sound Video and Game Controllers. There are many devices in there, but I simply right clicked on each one of them and chose Disable Device on everything except for the two devices that I know that I use. I restarted the computer and then went through every single software that uses either one or both of my audio and video devices to verify that it works the same as it always has. And guess what? No popping and crinkling audio. If any program on my computer no longer worked with my audio or video device, then I would have simply verified the settings were correct. And if they were, re-enabled each device one at a time to see at what point the program would start working again. If it still didn't work after going through all of them, then I might have to enable two devices and see if I can make it work. And then if I went through all combinations of that and it still didn't work, then maybe three and then maybe four. And then after that, then maybe you're just doomed and you have to have everything on and deal with popping and crinkling audio. Hopefully that's not the case though. But disabling all but those two devices worked for me, which is why I made this video. So hopefully this trick worked for you like it did me, and I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences down in the comments. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Sound Speeds. Be sure to tune in the future for more tips and tricks that will help keep you sane despite Microsoft's best attempt to make you crazy. And as always, sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.